Right, you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be looking at how we can keep our children safe online by setting up a family safety account on Windows now we're using Windows 8.1 here and it is available on a lot of other versions of Windows but if you have got Windows 10 uh, you will have to have a Microsoft account to use that feature because they have now disabled the local account on there so you will have to be connected to Microsoft to use that feature so we're going to set this up and we're going to be just running this on a local account and I'll show you how to set it up it's pretty straightforward and it's going to be the same for all operating systems really um, so let's get started so first off we're going to need to create an account for that young child to be used uh, so for instance if you wanted to go to the start button here and right click on this and go control panel that's probably going to be the easiest way to start this off and uh, what you want to do is go to user accounts and family safety under category now if you haven't if you're using a different version of windows there's other ways of doing it as well um, you can also go to let me see small icons here so if you've got it set up to this um, setting you can also do internet options and you can also do family safety here but if you look on the internet options as well it's there I'll show you underneath here it's in a few places where you can find it so content and you can see family safety is here okay there's loads of ways to get to this you can even get to it uh, through the bar here you can go to search go to settings here and do family safety and it will come up here and you can click on this okay so once we've got family safety open uh, whatever way you've got to it uh, this is how we can uh, set this up so now we need to create an account first off you will need to have a password on the administrator account or the parent account that has to have a password on it to stop uh, the youngsters from coming in here and changing the settings themselves so first off let's create a child account click on accounts then we want to manage other accounts and then click plus and you can see here it's asking us to set up an account here but we want to come down to where it says add a child account click on this and now it's asking us to either set up um, a Microsoft account here for this and they recommend you do this because then that gives you access online and stuff and do a lot of other things uh, but if we just want to set up a, a, a little small uh, local account we can do that as well so we just need to click on this here as a local account add a child, child without an email now we need to create that um, account we're just going to call this kid and we're going to put a password inside here for that child and I'm just going to set something up real easy here so I can remember it and you can see here it's been listed as a local account and that uh, first account is called kid so click finish and there we have that account so what we want to do now is um, going to come down to the bottom here and we can now go to search and we're going to just type in there family safety and you can see it's listed there so we can just start this up so here we have the family safety window open again and now we can see our accounts are listed here they've got the adult account here which is the administrator the parent and we've got the child's account which is kid now to log in to the manage settings on the family safety website here you would need to have a Microsoft account this is, means that you can monitor it from the internet you could log into that account and then make changes to it uh, whilst on the fly so if you was at work and they were at home you could quickly log in and make changes to that you can't do that without that okay so you will need to have uh, the Microsoft account so let's take a look at uh, the kid account here if you wanted to create more accounts you can cr uh, create more child accounts here but we're just going to click on kid and this will give us the settings now remember we're logged in as the administrator we're the parent and we're going to change some settings here to suit each child so each child is going to have its own settings because uh, there's different ages in children say for instance if you've got a very young child of 10 or 9 you may want to really heavily restrict that child and just give them certain uh, websites to look at like CBBC or something like that for children and block everything else 
Uh, if you've got an older child who's 13, 14, you may want to give them a bit more leeway and give them Facebook or whatever you want to do. Uh, you're the parent and uh, give them a bit more access. So you can see here set up um, some faith, uh, family safety here. We can enforce the current settings and we can also uh, get an activity report for that account. Now what that's going to do is collect all the data and keep keep it on the system so you can view it so you can view the activity reports right here you will see there's no activity on this account at the moment because we haven't set it up we've only just done it uh, but what that's going to do is tell you all the websites that they've been to all the games they've been playing how long they were on there and all the sites they visited and what date and time and all that sort of good stuff okay so this is pretty good you could call it a uh, a bit of an invasion of their privacy but they're only children so it, it it depends on how far you want to take it but you'll get a full report here so you can see here on the right hand side it says web filtering allow all that means they are allowed to monitor uh, go they're allowed to visit any websites without any restrictions time limits are all off and the game restrictions are off and also the desktop apps restrictions are off that means they've got full control here to, of what they want to do uh, so we can make changes to tighten that up a little bit let's click on web filter in here and you can see the kid can use all websites now if it's a young child of 10 you may want to change this uh, to suit your needs so we're just going to pretend this child is very young uh, kid can only use the websites that I allow and then now you can see allow and block websites by the rating of content types. Let's have a look at the uh, set web filtering level. You can see here um, we can block the file download so you can't download any files. This is adult images and all that sort of stuff will be blocked. Also uh, you can see here we've got some uh, radio buttons which can be changed by just clicking on them and if you look at these and read them uh, you'll see the amount of power that that young child will have you can see this child can view websites on the allow list websites designed for children when websites uh, from the general interest social networking web chat and uh, web so I think a young child this will be probably a little bit too much for them so you can restrict that a little bit more and uh, come down to allow the list only this means that they will only be allowed to view channels uh, websites on the list here now we've got no websites here but let's just put a couple in just to test this theory so we're just gonna uh, gonna go CBBC this is a ch child's website over here in the UK so we're gonna allow that one and uh, we're gonna block say YouTube and so on you'll get the general idea I'm not gonna spend too much time on this but you'll get the general idea of how it all works so if you set this up like so and you can go through um, this this like this okay so, so let's go back and th this is designed for children uh, this can be viewed uh, this child can view websites on the allow list of, and websites designed for children and adult sites are blocked so you could set this here if you wish you can set it exactly how you want to do it okay so what I'm going to do next is go back and have a look at the settings here and there's the time limits now the time limits are something that some parents like to set up so you can see the kids can use the PC all day uh, if you've got um, kids that aren't uh, using the uh, doing their homework and stuff you may want to set it up here where you can set up days minutes times and so on and weekends and give them some more access and certain times and that way you don't have to keep nagging them to get off the computer it will just close down and that will be that they won't be able to use it after that so you can set a curfew here as well and this will be a curfew time and this will be blocked and that will be that it will go off and this is easy enough to set up as well you could just put little uh, blocks of square here block 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 and so on so you can set certain times of, of the day I'm not going to set all this up uh, right now but um, as you can see here games and Windows Store apps restrictions you can set this up to whatever you want to do here you can see maximum allowed rating adults only so you can click on this 
and you can set up uh, your settings here as you can see so early childhood if you wanted to set this up if they're very young you got your teens and this gives them a little bit more free reign to do stuff obviously all the adult material will be blocked um, on here so you won't on these ones here you're not going to be able to get adult material um, again allow and block no games installed but if there was games installed you would see a list of them here and you could allow that child to play that game so if it's a young child's game you want to allow that you can do that in this uh, feature here so let's go back here and take a look at the desktop apps as you can see and you can set this up to whatever you want you can see the apps here um, and you can list this this is going a bit deep uh, where you can start to restrict what they can use on the computer but we're just going to give the kid all uh, app use here so that's about it so what we're going to do here now is we're going to log off and log on to the child's account and use it and see what happens and then come back and have a look at some of the logs so let me uh, log off this account And then we're going to log into the child's account. But we'll have to create this account first. So we'll just quickly let this create the account. Okay, so now we're at the desktop. This has all been uh, set up. So the account is being monitored by a family safety, as you can see here in the top right hand corner so uh, if we go on to the internet I'm not um, so you can see this has been blocked everything's been blocked here because we've set it up as a very young child and uh, we've only allowed the list that we uh, want them to view so everything else is going to be blocked so if we try to go to say for instance um, if we try to go to say my my, my website here or Facebook let's just click on Facebook that'll be easier so we'll go to Facebook and you can see it's been blocked okay so let's go to the child's website here that I put in I hope I've spelled it right the actual address of CBBC in it .co.uk that's it there so let's push enter and it's actually bbc.co.uk forward slash CBBC so it's going to be blocked but what we can do here is um, if that happens you can ask for permission and uh, you can put the uh, administrator account in which so the parent could then come over and put in their password and uh, as you can see here it's designed for young children blah 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 it says allow to use all of bbc.co.uk but we don't want to do that so we just want to allow that one CBBC. We don't want them to have access to the news channel because there could be graphic images on there of uh, you know war and stuff. So we don't want them seeing that. We just want them to see the actual uh, CBBC, which is a young child's uh, website. So if we took off this and tried to go to BBC, you can see it's blocked. So you can see the power of this uh, tool is very powerful and it can block a lot of stuff for young children. Uh, now obviously for more older children you would set this up slightly different so they would have more access to certain stuff so you can see the power of of this tool I we'll like it quite a lot and uh, it's a really good job that Microsoft have done uh, with this uh, built-in tool here so that's basically that so let's go back on to the uh, main account here and we'll take a look at the activity So I'm just going to quickly log back in to this account and uh, what we need to do here is we're going to go to the search and we're going to go to settings here and go family safety and you can see it there and now we can go into the kid account and as the administrator that is and we can now view the logs here you can see here we tried to 
get some stuff here and you can see that it's been visited and the stuff that's been blocked and also PC uh, time use and you can see the time use here because it's uh, five minutes we've used it for five minutes only and you can see here access to these app, uh, apps calendar and stuff would have been, all been monitored and again if you think it's a bit extreme you can change these settings to suit your needs so if it's a little bit extreme again you can come back into here and set your filtering on here a little bit so they can have a little bit more access now obviously if the child's a lot older and you want to give them more access to other stuff then obviously you can set this up and give them more access it's that simple anyway so i hope this one helps you out my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit that like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when i upload new videos if you've got any video requests or any problems with computers or anything like that or you want me to do a review or something and if you're a company or anything you want me to do a review then head over to my forums and hit me up over there send me a pm and i'll do my best to make those uh, videos for you so thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your continued support uh, bye for now